Welcome back everybody. So I've seen a lot online lately that there's been a lot of confusion about two uh, terms or two different subjects in reloading that are pretty simple. If you just simply pull out a Hornady handbook or any other handbook and read into it a little bit you can learn a lot about it. But this is for some people just to kind of clear up the water a little bit. A lot of people say this right here as O-Give. I'm a culprit of doing this. I've done it before. I even know it's wrong and I still do it just because it's a habit. But this is actually how you pronounce it. It's O-Jav. That simple. O-Jav. That's how you say it. People make a big stink about it. I don't think, you know, it's the devil's advocate or anything, but that's the correct way to say it. Now, what the OJAV is, I wrote down the definition. The curve of the bullet's forward portion. That is simply what you need a comparator kit for. You put it on your caliper, zeroed it out. And what you're measuring here is whenever you shove this in, where you see that bullet go in right there where it touches, that's the OJAV right there. That's what you're measuring for. So, now that we went over that and the purpose of it, and, or not the purpose of it, but why or how to measure for it, excuse me, that takes us into the next subject of bullet jump. I also wrote the definition down for bullet jump. Distance between the O-give of the bullet and the point where it will touch the lands. <clears throat> for those of you that don't know, the lands is sometimes like 2,000 smaller. Like say you have a 30 caliber rifle. Say you got a 308. The lands could be maybe two thousandths smaller than the actual 30 caliber rifling inside your barrel. But that's on to another subject. Back to bullet junk. The distance between the O-give, which is what we measured with this comparator on the bullet, the O-jive, I actually said it again, the OJAV of the bullet, what I showed you we measure for, between the OJAV and the point where it touches the lands. That's the big reason why you measure the OJAV is because some people may ask you what's your bullet jump. Well, bullet jump is the distance between the OJAV to the lands and there's different seating bullet seatings that you can do with different rifles that improve your accuracy. So I want to kind of keep this short and sweet on this video. I got a little bit of a cold today, so I'm trying to knock it out and help you guys out. So OJIVE is the correct way to say it. The curve of the bullet forward portion, which you measure with a comparator kit. There's different inserts for it and everything else. It'll have a chart tell you which insert you need for which diameter bullet. And bullet jump is the distance between the ogive of the bullet and where that is going to meet on your lands. So that essentially is your bullet jump, the distance that that bullet's going to travel from when it fires from the cartridge till it hits the lands. That is your bullet jump. So hopefully I cleared these two topics up for a lot of people. Um, I got my information straight out of the Hornady book. You can see it right there. Just now I referenced it. Just so I could ensure that I was correct on what I was saying. So hopefully I helped you guys. If y'all have anything else to add, or maybe if you, I was just jabbering away and I messed something up or said something the wrong way, Leave it in the comments and correct it, or if you have more to add, go ahead and throw it in the comments because all the other people viewing it 
are going to see it and they're going to want to see what more information they can figure it out or what information they can figure out and hopefully we can help some people with this issue and maybe at least get it cleared up some and if there's anything else that you would like to have cleared up go ahead and leave that in the comments as well I'll research it figure out what I can if I don't already know and I'll have a video on it as soon as I can go ahead and like and subscribe and I'll have more videos to come until next time guys